It moved into the area. Anyone in, in areas prone to flooding, we want you just to keep a heads up as you wait to see what will happen. As we are on the flood watch this morning with live team coverage, we have the Nissan Rogue Runner. Jason Maxwell was with us, but first we start with Fox 2's Kelly Hoskins joining us live from Eureka, where they're bracing for a busy weekend. Good morning, Kelly. Well, good morning, Jeff, with the heavy rain, and it's been raining all morning. And as you can see here in Eureka, they are preparing for the worst. They already have out their life vests and their rescue boats, and they are ready to go along with MSD. They are very concerned about the flash flooding forecast. And with the weekend storms expected to dump three to five inches of rain in the area, the National Weather Service warns the recent rainfall has set a stage for significant flooding in some areas. This week, MSD crews installed a temporary pump at the Fenton plant as a backup should their system become overworked like it did in 2015. Meanwhile, another hard hit area here in Eureka has strike teams ready to go with countywide emergency plans in place. They are ready for locations that are especially prone to flooding and will have extra divisions set up nearby with rescue apparatus on hand. With the amount of rain that we're getting for this storm, um, it's better to be better, better be uh, overly prepared than to be, um, you know, calling in uh, extra pumps in the final hour. Obviously, right now, December of 2015 flood is still fresh in our mind. Uh, historical flooding for us. We have a countywide emergency initiative right now. They have several strike teams in place. MSC crews ask that residents do their part in keeping neighborhood streets inlets clear of debris and extra crews are working through this event and will be taking calls around the clock. In Eureka, Kelly Hoskins, Fox 2 News. Thank you, Kelly.